African elephants are closest to whales in the animal kingdom in terms of size. But how close are they? Well, a typical blue whale is about the size of 40 to 50 African elephants, 20 to 30 T-Rexes, 4 Boeing 737s, and weighs 5 times as much as every single person in the Vatican. That's pretty scary. In 2019, Rainer Schimpf had a pretty cool fluke moment, perhaps the fluke of flukes when he was swallowed and spat out by a whale. But how fluky was this event? Today, we dive deep. Well, not that deep. To find out, what if a whale swallowed you? Okay, so here's the thing. There are probably some 50 extant species of whales on the planet. But hey, this isn't a biology class. Let's take two broader classifications, baleen whales and toothed whales. Only one whale in each class could possibly swallow you. Of the toothed whales, orcas cannot swallow you, so the only possible option is the sperm whale. These guys are the largest toothed predators on Earth, and an encounter with them is either a nightmare or one of the, you know, 1,000 ways to die. Sperm whales are known to swallow giant squids whole, so a sperm whale could easily swallow you. But the first obstacle would be its 26 knife-like sets of teeth that are about 15 to 20 centimeters long and weigh around 2 pounds each. Realistically, you'd likely get bruised and punctured by their teeth before making it down a very tight esophagus. However, you'd have to have long and sharp claws to stand a chance of holding on to a very slippery and tight esophagus. So tight, you won't even be able to move or stretch your arms. Oh, yeah, wait, uh, there's some more bad news. Sperm whales usually swallow their prey head first to prevent being hurt by the fins of fishes. So, if a sperm whale swallows your head first, then it's pretty much doomsday. Upon entering one of its stomachs, your skin would be burnt by the gastric acids in its stomachs as you move from one chamber to another. Unfortunately, sperm whales are carnivores. They do not regurgitate their prey. So, it's a point of no return until they digest your flesh and excrete your bones. That's pretty sad. So, even if you make it past the mouth and teeth, let's just say you lived to die another day. Alright, so let's consider the other possibility. Blue whales would almost certainly not be interested in you. Scientists who study them document that they have some kind of predatory grocery list, and they're rarely interested in animals not on this list. If you ever get swallowed by a blue whale, you won't make it down its throat. Their throat is very, very, very slim, and they can only swallow items that are typically smaller than a golf ball. So, any which way, it would spit you out. Gentle giants, if you ask me. Hold on, though. If a sperm whale somehow doesn't spit you out immediately, then you're toast. Blue whales could dive as deep as over a thousand feet, which is the height of the Empire State Building in New York. You have almost no chance of survival at this depth, because oxygen at this level is far less than you require for survival. So, your best bet is to be as lucky as Rainer Schimpf. Okay, back to Rainer. A blue whale swallowed him on the coast of South Africa, but the whale spat him out in a matter of seconds. Thankfully, Rainer wasn't taken for a deep sea ride, so he lived to tell the tale. Finally, let's do some myth busting. There's the story of James Bartley being swallowed by a whale in the 19th century. Numerous scientists and historians have realistically checked these stories, and they all found them to be false. You know, let's just say fish tales. Here's another fun fact. Only less than 20% of the ocean has been explored, so we still have a whopping 80% to go. So, who knows? We just might someday find a creature that can fit into these narratives. And by the way, growing our channel is not going to happen by flukes, so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications, because that's all we have for you today. See you in the next one.